when I was a kid growing on the Mediterranean coast of Spain, I dreamed of being an ocean explorer, a diver. And I started studying marine biology, and I realized that what I was seeing underwater was not the same thing that I saw on Cousteau's movies. And I thought that the Mediterranean was just a poor sea. But then one day, I jumped in a marine reserve that had been protected for 10 years. And I realized on that very moment, everything that we lost. After 10 years doing research in degraded environments, I decided that I didn't want to get depressed anymore. So with National Geographic, we conducted two expeditions in 2005 and 2007 to the Northern Line Islands. And there we visited a series of islands from inhabited to uninhabited and pristine. And that trip was like going back in time. We were able to see what the ocean was like 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 500 years ago. That was the best way to understand our integrated impact on those really gorgeous ecosystems. The Southern Line Islands belong to the Republic of Kiribati, which is a pioneer country when it comes to marine conservation. They have protected one of their archipelagos, the Phoenix Islands Protected Area. With our data and our images, we hope to establish a dialogue with the government to inspire them to replicate that effort on that uninhabited archipelago so they can provide this gift to future generations. We are a team of 12 scientists and five media, including photographers and videographers. We will leave Tahiti on a 50-meter boat and sail for a month, visiting five unexplored, uninhabited islands. Imagine that you want to understand how cars work, and all you know are car wrecks in a junkyard. There is no way you are going to imagine that this car can take you from A to B. The only way to understand what the car can do is to go to a dealership and study a brand new car. This place we're going to, the Sutherland Islands, is one of the last marine dealerships. This is like the instruction manual for how the ocean works. So this is very different from previous research expeditions in the sense that we are studying a machine, an ecological machine that is complete and fully functioning. When I was a kid, we had to wait months, if not years, to see those movies about those fantastic expeditions. But today, with the technology, the internet, we can follow these expeditions almost real time. So we have built a really exciting website where we will be able to report back from the field every day. And people will be able to track the course of the ship and also be interactive. They can ask us questions about what we are doing what we would like to know, and we expect to get back to them as, as soon as possible. One of our biggest hopes is to inspire ocean lovers and people who don't know that they are ocean lovers yet to be stewards of our ocean planet and bring more people and convince their policymakers to replicate these success stories, to increase the number of protected areas in the ocean so that at least the ocean is as protected as the land.